Hello again, I am Bloody. So, let's have a chat about Dr. Disrespect, otherwise known as Herschel Beam, or Guy Beam, as he prefers to be called. And frankly, no offense to many Herschels out there, but if I was called Herschel, I'd pick a different name too. Which is weird, uh, because uh, Herschel has been quite transphobic. And you'd think someone who has experienced part of their personal identity, not feeling like a good match for who they are, so much so that they publicly change that presentation, say, by picking a chosen name, for example, uh, you'd think they'd be a little more sensitive to, um, you know, exploring to one of the teeny tiniest issues that actually, you know, uh, affect trans people, for example. Shrug. Almost everything I've ever learned about Herschel Guy Beam slash Dr. Disrespect has been on an involuntary basis. I am not part of his target audience, as you may observe. I am not a 14-year-old Fortnite player, and I am not a 20-something incel, um, which, which, as far as I could tell, that that's his audience. So whenever he came into my field of view, I shrugged, who cares, wandered away. Except for a couple of occasions. The first one uh, was when he got uh, banned from, well, suspended from Twitch. I reckon he should have been permanently banned for what he did this first time around. But uh, was it 2019? I think. Um, at A3, he took a live streaming camera that was streaming to the internet as he took it in. Well, his camera people took it in but they followed him in, uh, into a public bathroom in the event space. Um, so does that, does that kid in the red hat in the back there, and I've blurred out everybody's faces here for the sake of their own dignity and privacy, um, but that, 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 that kid at the urinal in the back there, you see him, right? The one at the urinal with his tinkle out, taking a slash, and in wanders at the time this late 30s, uh, uh, you know, high profile streamer with his live streaming gear streaming out to, I don't know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people. I think he had like 6 million followers uh, at his height on Twitch or something. Just wanders into a public bathroom uh, with his cameras rolling where kids are at a video game event. That's not something normal people do. A normal person would think, is this a good idea? Probably not. When I'm at an event with my own cameras, when I have to go into the bathroom, for bathroom purposes, not just because it's, oh, edgy. Um, I, I put my camera down by my side. I make sure it's turned off. I put the lens cap on to make nobody in there nervous that they might surreptitiously be being recorded. And from then on in, anytime his name come up, it would catch my, oh, that creep again. What's he up to this time? Ew. And again, I, I, I do not understand how that was just a temporary suspension from Twitch. Why, why was that not grounds to ban him permanently from Twitch? It's insane. Money is the reason. They could overlook it for money because he was one of the biggest streamers on there and he bought in lots and lots of money for them. Because that's how capitalism works. Except when you do something so severe, not even greed can account for it. So uh, after that, he, he did get uh, eventually permanently suspended, but nobody knew why. Twitch wouldn't confirm it. He wouldn't talk about it. He claimed he didn't know why. I, I think he did. I think he might have. I think he might have had a, had, a, had, a, had a clue about it if he'd thought about it for a little bit, about his uh, behavior on the platform, as it turns out. Now that we have hindsight, many, many years later, I think he might have known why he got banned, but he protested his innocence and still protests his innocence to this day. A few days ago, um, after uh, Twitch and him spent years suing and countersuing one another, he, like, he tried to sue Twitch for unrightful contract breaking or whatever uh, legal term applies there. Uh, Twitch countersued him and they settled out of court as often happens when two entities countersue each other. They wind up settling because nobody's ever going to get what they want because the legal system is broken and it's not about who is right and it's not about who is wrong. <laughs> and as always with these out of court settlements, there's a don't talk about it clause basically. But then someone who used to work for Twitch, but doesn't anymore, said, actually, I know what happened. Here's what happened. Um, he was caught using Twitch's private messaging feature called Whispers. It's no longer part of Twitch's uh, function, but used to be able to privately message people, DM them in, in Twitter terms, I guess, or texting in phone terms, SMSing if you're really, really old. But apparently he was um, caught uh, texting an underage viewer of his, um, flirting with them and trying to arrange a meetup and an event he was going to be at and the uh, child in question was going to be at. That's not something a normal person does. 
Guy Beam is only a few years younger than me. I'm, I'm 45. He's like 42, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's not something a 40-something-year-old person does without intent. Okay? You don't flirt with a teenager. I don't flirt with 16-year-olds. And if a 16-year-old does interact with me in a way that seems like that, because it does happen as a person in the public sphere, I'm nowhere near as big as, as, as a guy is, but, you know, it has happened, where you get a viewer or, or a fan or something sort of being a bit cheeky or something. Your job as the grown-up in the situation is to shut that down. You don't let that happen. And you do not reciprocate. Okay? And I know people are out there over the last few days defending this guy, saying, oh, they're making it up. They're, they're just, they hate him for some other reason. They're just making up stuff to, 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 to justify being angry at him. No, actually, um, as of this morning, I woke up and Guy has admitted this is exactly what happened. So I'm going to read you his apology form or uh, explanation, really. And when you need to publish an official apology or an explanation that is several paragraphs long trying to justify your behavior, you've done effed up and you know it. And the weasel words and stuff he's trying to use around this, like for the last couple of days after the court settlement, it was like, I did nothing illegal. I did. I admit to no wrongdoing. And admitting to no wrongdoing is part of that, that settlement stuff that happens in court. It doesn't mean you didn't do anything wrong. It just means legally you've signed a piece of paper that says you admit to no wrongdoing. As long as the other party admits to no wrongdoing as well, and everybody gets paid. But he was out there admitting to no wrongdoing. He did nothing illegal, which is a very, very specific thing to say. I didn't do anything illegal. So let's have a look at his apology here. Um, let's cut to the effing BS. Yes, you know, there's no filter with me. Is there though? I feel like there might be a filter with you. I feel like there's lots of stuff you don't tell people. Hey, remember when you got caught cheating on your wife with multiple women over years? Um, you, you weren't really upfront about that at first, will you? were you? Until you got caught, demonstrably, provably caught doing it. Then, then suddenly you were, oh yeah, yeah, I did that. First and foremost, I want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. So Midnight Society Game Studio is a studio that Guy co-founded a little while back. Um, and as of yesterday, they kicked him out the door because they were investigating all the stuff that was going on with him, because as a co-founder, he was linked to their branding, essentially, and you're part of the company, very important, and whatever he does reflects badly on them. So they were investigating, and very quickly after investigating, like within a day, I think, um, they kicked him out the door. So obviously, they found evidence that they don't want to be anywhere near this sleazeball. So uh, let's see what he has to say about that, though. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Step down, is that what you did? You went fired when they found out what you did? You stepped down, did you? Really? Because um, there's a clip from one of your streams where it's looking, at, you know, you're reacting to a, a text you just got, and you're all sort of, you know, in your, in your streaming performance headspace, and as soon as you read that text, all the color drained from your face. That wasn't you getting the... um expected news that you were stepping down. Because that's what it looked like to everybody else. Uh, our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families. I'd never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Oh yeah, got a good culture going on in that company, do you? I'll bet. The kind of people you might attract. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years, so you did know why. Because a few years ago, you, you kept claiming you didn't know why. You never once said, oh, I do know why, but I'm not allowed to say. Why, why has that changed all of a sudden? Interesting. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Well, I can't wait for your side of the story. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. So, so, so you were messaging a teenager on Twitch tr trying to plan a meetup with them. That, yeah, that sounds totally legit. Um, by the way, that wording with an individual minor, that has been edited a few times because he is a blue tick user of Twitch slash X, which means he can edit his tweets. And he has done that. And people have got screenshots of him changing the wording around individual minor. Like for example, taking out the word minor, trying to hide that it was a child he was talking to. 
but then he got called out on it and he changed it back. What what happened to having no filter, mate? I thought you were upfront about everything you could be upfront about. Why are you trying to? Whoops! Well, shouldn't use the word minor. That that might be my lawyer says I shouldn't have said that. Oh, too late. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. Horse shit. Horse shit. You don't behave like that without intention. You didn't accidentally flirt with a teenager. You didn't accidentally try to stop trying to plan a meetup with them at an event so you could see them in person. That doesn't happen accidentally. That happens with intention. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes, now listen to this, leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Wow, what a weasel word sentence that was. Sometimes they leaned a little too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Are you kidding me with this? Are you joking? Are you trying to become a meme? It doesn't matter if it's mutual. It doesn't matter if it's leaning in the direction of being inappropriate. That's a child you're talking to, you 40-something-year-old dickhead. You shut that shit down. If you have any sense of reason and sense and dignity and empathy in the world, you don't take part in it. You don't play along. Here we go again. Nothing illegal happened. Wink. Uh, yeah, nothing illegal happened yet because you were caught no pictures were shared. No crimes were committed yet. I never even met with the individual yet. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch uh, that was resolved by a settlement. And again, settlements are weasley little legal things. It doesn't mean he didn't do anything wrong. Now, let me be clear. It's not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Just because it's not illegal doesn't mean it was right. There are lots of things that are not technically illegal, but it doesn't mean you get to go around doing them and, and, and expect people to treat you no differently because of it. Now, <clears throat> here we go with the M word. From my moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. How? In what way are you taking responsibility? Because it's not just, responsibility isn't just, yeah, I did that. Proper responsibility is working towards uh, making up for that in some way, actively. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. No, you shouldn't, you creep. That's on me, yes it is. I'm the adult, I'm the husband and the father. Yeah, let's talk about you being a father for a second, Virgil. Um, imagine your daughter. I believe he has, like I said, everything I've learned about this dickhead has been involuntary, but I'm, I, I think I remember uh, someone saying he had a daughter, right? He has a kid, at least. Doesn't really matter the gender. So, imagine, Herschel, your kid was out there and some 45-year-old was flirting with them, trying to arrange a meetup with them at an event where people often get hotel rooms. How'd you feel about that? Would, that, would you be okay with that? Would that make you feel awesome? Because, you know, the person uh, trying to groom your child um, wasn't doing anything illegal yet now he continues with all this said don't get it effing mistaken i've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely <laughs> i was throwing anything about loosely mate <laughs> and nothing loose about this this is an extremely serious matter mate Social media is a destruction zone. I mean, no effing predator or pedophile. <laughs> well, I mean, the first P, pff, yeah, you kind of are. That was predatory behavior that you were engaging in. Yes, it was. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Anyone that truly knows me effing knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. F that. It's a different level of disgust that I effing hate even hearing about. Yeah, the rest of us do too. Um, except when we say it, we mean it. And we're not doing it behind closed doors, hoping nobody's going to find out that we're flirting with teenagers. Uh, don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggeration. Oh, it's an exaggeration now because nothing illegal happened yet. It was just a game you were playing with this teenager flirting and planning a meetup in private messages on a platform where you had 
tremendous amounts of control and influence over this vulnerable person who was a fan of yours. Your influence mattered to them. Your opinion mattered to them. That's a power dynamic that, that, that has you way up here and they are way down here. Okay, that's not a power dynamic you get to shrug off and go, oh, it was, it was, it was, it was, just, it was just innocent. No. To my team, community, industry, friends that have supported me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I take a close look at anybody who's been supporting him, by the way. Apologists for that kind of behavior. <laughs> Don't want to be under that umbrella. I apologize. I wish I could have said this sooner. Well, you should have. Why didn't you? Because of legal reasons? Take responsibility. Who cares? You did wrong. You know you did wrong. And you were hiding it. Hiding behind... What? Legal mumbo jumbo crap? For as long as you possibly could, hoping to get away with it? No, that's not what people do. That's the kind of behavior they just made fun of on one of the most recent episodes of The Boys. That's what that is. You're trying to get out in front of it and own it. Now that you've been caught, exposed for it, it's too late to take responsibility. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. Well, I bet you do, mate. Again, let's have a think about your kid. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. Yeah, as, 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 as big bags of money you can exploit. Or potentially teenage sexual partners you could try to groom. Because we know you're not faithful to your wife. So, and now we know you like to flirt with teenagers too. You put those two things together and it's not a long bow to draw to what happens next if you hadn't been caught. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's me, I think you're a piece of shit, uh, that's fine. Yeah, it's murder, it's more than fine, mate. It's expected response to this. Anybody who doesn't respond like this, I've got some questions for them too, but I'm not effing going anywhere. Well, you should. You're in a space where you're constantly exposed to thousands, potentially millions of other people's children. I'm pretty sure none of their parents want you flirting with their kids in DMs or trying to arrange meetups at events. You need to get the fuck out of this industry right now. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family. And I'm like, inverted commas, family. Um, yeah, there'll be some interesting conversations around that family dinner table. Um, as mentioned on stream, I'm coming back with heavy weight off my shoulders. Are you though? Are you though? This is all a big weight off your shoulders now that you've been exposed to someone who flirts with teenagers and tries to arrange meetups at events where hotels are involved? I don't think you should be feeling any relief about this. I think you need to shut up and fuck off. They just want me to disappear. Yeah, we do. And for pretty reasonable reasons, actually. Disappear. Fuck off. Nobody with a soul wants you around, especially when your audience is children. The type of people you attract to your audience are demonstrably children, vulnerable, easily influenced children when it comes to the star power of mega streamers like you. No, you need to fuck off. Herschel, fuck off. And I say this with the deepest and doctoriest of disrespect because respect is earned and you have none by the way the title of doctor is also earned i don't go around calling myself lord blunty king emperor blunty well i bloody well should be i think i'll fix this world you just watch me guess what'll happen to people like guy beam under my merciless rule <laughs> guess I dare you. Anyway, said my piece, got that off my chest. Now I can hopefully move along and never think about this creep ever again. Because his extended vacation, I rather hope, will be very extended and he'll never come back. He'll just quietly fade away from people's memory. Um, which is what, what should happen. But no, actually, you should be remembered. Uh, as, as someone who tried to groom a child and got caught. And then hid it for years until they were finally exposed, and then they came clean about it. Fuck off, Herschel. Fuck off.